Welcome to this video, which will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the Video Editor Shotcut to measure time intervals from a video of an object in motion and then place the data into Google Sheets to create a chart in order to visualize the data. This activity could be very helpful in the studies of science or math. Anyone who has tried to measure time intervals of an object in motion with a stopwatch knows it's nearly impossible to record accurate values. With today's technology, it's very easy to video record the object and use a video editor to move frame by frame and record the time off of the frame. For this demonstration, black tape was placed every 3 inches or 0.25 feet on a wooden ramp. Certainly every 10 centimeters would work as well. A small rolling cart was assembled from the VEX IQ robotic system parts to provide the moving object. The VEX IQ kit will allow students to design their own carts as an additional design challenge. Any type of rolling cart or rolling object could be substituted for the VEX IQ cart in this activity. Let's start by recording the cart rolling down the ramp. Nearly any video editor can be used for these procedures for measuring time. But for this video, Shotcut will be used because it has all the features needed, it's available for Windows and Macintosh computers, and it's free. If you do not have the software, please go to the Shotcut site and click on the download link. Click on the link for your platform, download, and then open the download and follow the instructions for installing. Once the program is installed for the Windows version, go to the programs menu and double click on the shortcut icon. Enter a name for the project like measuring tool and click on the start button. Click on the open file button. Navigate to the location the video is stored. Click on the video and click on the open button. Click on the additional actions menu icon. And click on the add video track option. Now click and drag the video onto the video track. Next slide the magnifying button all the way to the max position. Click on the skip to the previous point icon to move to the beginning of the video clip. If there's any blank space before the video clip, right click on the space and select remove. Click on the current position up arrow repeatedly or hold down to advance the video clip to the point in which the cart is just starting to roll down the ramp. To remove all of the video clip up until the cart starts rolling, click on the split at playhead icon, click on the front part of the clip, and then right click and select remove. Next, in order to display a timer, click on the video track and then on the filters tab, and then click again on the plus button. Type in timer into the search window. Now click on the timer filter. 
The time of the current position of the video clip will show up in the viewing window. Now click and drag the corner tab to resize and move the timer window to the left so both the time and the video can be viewed. To move to the front of the video clip, click on the skip to previous point icon. Now the program is all set up to record time and distance. These measurements will need to be put in a data chart. This could be created on paper or in a spreadsheet. For this video, the data is going to be recorded in a Google Sheet. Log on to your Google account and click on the application grid. Click on the drive icon. Click on the new button. Next, click on Google Sheets. To start, click on the corner cell which is referred to as A1. Enter the following information into the cells. The variable time and the unit seconds as open parentheses S close parentheses. Select the next cell B1 by pressing the arrow key to move over or clicking on the cell. Then enter 0 for the starting time. Continue to select each of the following cells. In cell A2, enter the variable distance and the unit feet as open parentheses FT close parentheses. Enter 0 for the starting distance. The ramp used for this activity has black tape every 3 inches. Multiplying this by the conversion factor of 1 foot over 12 inches has it equal 0.25 feet. So enter 0.25 for the measurement of the first piece of tape on the ramp after the starting line. Next, enter the measurement for each of the remaining lines by entering 0 0.5, 1, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, 2, and 2.25. Switch back to the shortcut program Click the up current position arrow until the cart's front wheels reach the next line. If the video clip advances too far, click the down current position arrow to back up the video. Make note of the time and switch to the data chart on the Google Sheet. Now enter the time of 0.43 in cell C1 to create the ordered pair of 0.25 feet and 0.43 seconds. Repeat the last two steps until the data table is complete. Now the data table is complete, click on the title box and enter a title for the Google Sheet which makes sense, like cart rolling down a ramp. Next, let's create a chart to see what this data looks like. In order to create the chart, click and drag from cell A1 to cell K2 to highlight all of the cells. Click on the Insert Chart icon. Click on the Selector Triangle beside the Column Chart. Click on the Line Chart button. Click the checkbox beside Use Row 1 as Labels. Edit the title to match the title of your data. 
in this case, cot rolling down ramp. Click on the selector button beside the title window. Select horizontal axis title. Enter the title time open parentheses s close parentheses for the horizontal axis in the title text window. Click on the selector triangle beside the horizontal axis title and select vertical axis title. Lastly, enter the title distance open parentheses FT close parentheses for the vertical axis in the title text window. This finishes the chart and the activity. In order to close the chart editor, click any place on the sheet. The chart shows how the slope, or speed in this case, increases between the start and 0.75 seconds. Or in other words, the cart accelerates. From 0.75 seconds to the end, the slope becomes more linear, showing the force of gravity is being balanced by the force of friction acting on the cart, and it's reaching a constant speed, or in other words, the cart's terminal velocity. Many other variations can be tested using these procedures, such as changing the angle of the ramp, the length of the ramp, or the type of cart. In fact, this technique can be used with any object which moves in a straight line and has a reference measuring scale. It's only limited by the recording speed of the camera. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many videos of robot competitions and instructions there. Until next time, remember, sometimes things can get done faster when you slow them down.